Is telekinesis possible? If yes, then how, and if not, then why, and if possible, will it be good, or bad? Hello everyone, welcome to our channel A Anything, we came again with another interesting video. Today, we asked AI about what is the possibilities of telekinesis to exist, and also good and bad aspects of it, and its consequences? And here is what it said. Telekinesis is a hypothetical psychic ability that allows a person to influence a physical system without physical interaction, or we can say, telekinesis is the ability to move things with your mind. It means that you can use your thoughts to make objects change their position, direction, or speed without touching them. Some people believe that telekinesis is a real skill and try to develop it by meditating, visualizing, and focusing their thoughts. Others believe that telekinesis is a fake or impossible phenomenon that has no scientific basis or proof. However, till date, there is no scientific or historical evidence that telekinesis is a real phenomenon, and it is generally regarded as pseudoscience. But still, some possible ways that telekinesis could be possible are Number 1, it could be a natural but latent human ability that can be awakened or activated by training, practice, or special circumstances. For example, a person with telekinesis could have inherited it from their ancestors, developed it through meditation or exercise, or triggered it by trauma or emotion. Number 2, it could be a supernatural or paranormal gift that can be granted or acquired by divine intervention, mystical experience, or occult practice. For example, a person with telekinesis could have received it from God, angels, or saints, experienced it during near-death or out-of-body events, or obtained it by spells, rituals, or curses. Number 3, it could be a technological or artificial enhancement that can be enabled or augmented by devices, implants, or drugs. For example, a person with telekinesis could have been equipped with nanobots, chips, or electrodes, enhanced by genetic engineering, cybernetics, or biotechnology, or stimulated by chemicals, hormones, or neurotransmitters. Number 4, it could be a quantum or metaphysical phenomenon that can be explained or manipulated by advanced physics, mathematics, or philosophy. For example, a person with telekinesis could have understood the nature of reality, energy, or consciousness, exploited the principles of quantum mechanics, string theory, or chaos theory, or applied the concepts of mind over matter, free will, or causality. Number 5, it could be a psychological or sociological phenomenon that can be influenced or generated by the power of suggestion, collective unconscious, or mass hysteria. For example, a person with telekinesis could have been persuaded by hypnosis, propaganda, or peer pressure, tapped into the shared memories, symbols, or archetypes of humanity, or participated in the collective delusions, emotions, or behaviors of a group. Now, some possible ways that telekinesis could not be possible are Number 1, it could violate the laws of nature, logic, or causality that govern the physical world and the human mind. For example, a person with telekinesis could break the conservation of energy or momentum, create logical paradoxes or contradictions, or reverse the cause and effect relationship. Number 2, it could lack any empirical evidence, theoretical basis, or testable prediction that would support its existence or validity. For example, a person with telekinesis could fail to produce any observable or measurable results, provide any plausible or consistent explanation, or make any falsifiable or verifiable claims. Number 3, it could contradict the established knowledge, consensus, or standards of science, reason, or common sense. For example, a person with telekinesis could go against the findings or opinions of experts, authorities, or peers, disregard the rules or methods of inquiry or argumentation, or ignore the facts or realities of experience or observation. 
Number 4, it could depend on subjective perception, interpretation, or expectation that would bias its observation or evaluation. For example, a person with telekinesis could be influenced by wishful thinking, confirmation bias, or placebo effect, misinterpret coincidences, illusions, or tricks, or expect outcomes that are influenced by their beliefs, emotions, or intentions. Number 5, it could be a product of fraud, deception, or manipulation that would mislead or exploit its believers, witnesses, or victims. For example, a person with telekinesis could have been faking it by using hidden wires, magnets, or air currents, deceiving others by using sleight of hand, optical illusions, or special effects, or manipulating others by using charisma, rhetoric, or blackmail. Now, some possible good aspects about telekinesis are. Number 1, it could be a useful skill for manipulating objects that are out of reach, heavy, or dangerous. For example, a person with telekinesis could move a book from a high shelf, lift a car off someone who is trapped, or disarm a bomb without touching it. Number 2, it could be a fun way to entertain oneself and others with amazing feats of mind power. For example, a person with telekinesis could juggle objects in the air, levitate themselves or others, or perform magic tricks without props. Number 3, it could be a source of personal empowerment and confidence, as well as spiritual growth and enlightenment. For example, a person with telekinesis could overcome their physical limitations, assert their will over their environment, or connect with a higher power or purpose. Number 4, it could be a potential tool for scientific exploration and discovery, as well as artistic expression and creativity. For example, a person with telekinesis could conduct experiments that would otherwise be impossible, create new forms of art or music, or invent new technologies or applications. Number 5, it could be a means of communication and connection with other beings or forces. For example, a person with telekinesis could send or receive messages without words, sense or influence the emotions or thoughts of others, or interact with spirits or aliens. Some possible bad aspects about telekinesis are. Number 1, it could be a dangerous or harmful ability if used irresponsibly, maliciously, or carelessly. For example, a person with telekinesis could hurt themselves or others by accident or on purpose, cause damage or destruction to property or nature, or interfere with the natural order or balance of things. Number 2, it could be a source of mental strain, fatigue, or instability, as well as physical side effects or risks. For example, a person with telekinesis could suffer from headaches, exhaustion, or loss of concentration, experience nausea, dizziness, or pain, or develop mental disorders such as psychosis or schizophrenia. Number 3, it could be a cause of social isolation, rejection, or persecution, as well as ethical dilemmas or conflicts. For example, a person with telekinesis could feel lonely, misunderstood, or feared by others, face discrimination, harassment, or violence from society, or struggle with moral questions such as whether to use their power for good or evil. Number 4, it could be a challenge to control, master, or understand, as well as to prove or verify. For example, a person with telekinesis could have difficulty controlling their power in stressful situations, learning how to use it effectively or safely or explaining how it works scientifically or logically. Number 5, it could be a temptation to abuse, misuse, or depend on it. For example, a person with telekinesis could become arrogant, greedy, or lazy by relying on their power too much, violate the rights or privacy of others by using their power without consent or respect, or become addicted to their power and lose touch with reality. Telekinesis is an intriguing but controversial concept that has fascinated many people for centuries. However, despite its popularity and appeal in fiction and folklore, there is no convincing proof or explanation for how it works or whether it is real. Therefore, 
Telekinesis remains a speculative and doubtful possibility that requires more rigorous and objective investigation before it can be accepted or rejected. And with that keeping in mind, if you like the video and want to watch more like this, then like, comment, and share the video, and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any video. See you next time, and have a great day.